In China, surveillance capitalism merges with neuroscience, with pilot programs measuring students' brain activity to assess focus in classrooms or monitoring workers for stress levels on factory floors. This blending of biology and economics resembles the enclosure of the mind itself, turning our thoughts and feelings into commodities. Throughout history, economic systems have evolved to extract value in new ways. If techno-feudalism binds us to platforms, neurocapitalism takes aim at something even more fundamental, our thoughts, emotions, and attention. The term neurocapitalism has been examined by various scholars and gained prominence through Giorgio Griziotti's book Neurocapitalismo. This emerging system leverages neuroscience, biometrics, and data-driven psychology to turn our minds into marketplaces, and a performance-driven society obsessed with exposing personal shortcomings has created a booming market for this neuroscience. Just as globalization represents the optimization of production and communication for capitalist ends, so too does the focus on the brain by the humanities suggest a new frontier for capitalist influence, targeting the very command center of human existence. Like industrial capitalism required machines and techno-feudalism relies on platforms, neurocapitalism depends on our willingness to surrender our neural data. And just like serfs once harvested grain and workers produced goods, we now generate cognitive value every time we scroll, click, or glance at a screen. Failure now means not being able to exhaust the full potential of one's options. And one thing that is concerning is how neurocapitalism shapes child development, as young brains are particularly susceptible to algorithmic manipulation, leading to what some researchers call digital conditioning. This raises serious questions about autonomy and free will in an age where our neural responses are increasingly commodified. This is my attempt to explain neurocapitalism in about 100 seconds. If you enjoy the content, you can share, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.